I'm Lee Zaketti, Vice President of National Public Relations for the Farm Credit System, and I'm joined by Jim Kielkoff, Credit Economist with AgriBank, one of the Farm Credit System's five wholesale banks serving the Midwest. Jim, I'm very interested in your perspective because not only do you have a global economic view and work here in America's heartland and have great emphasis on what's happening in the ag economy, but I know that you're also a landowner in Ecuador and that you have an active producing farm. I'd love to hear your insights on what's happening in the global agricultural economy and how what's happening domestically is similar or different from what's happening internationally. Yeah, I have a um, I have a kind of a modest sized farm. We produce rice and cocoa beans in Ecuador, South America, and uh, and there are a lot of differences between the between farming uh, in other parts of the world and farming in the United States. And one of the main things I've seen over the last 15 years is uh, the acquisition and the practice of more modern, higher production farming methods in other parts of the world uh, that has been practiced for for a longer period of time in the United States. And that means that, uh, that other parts of the world are becoming more productive in their agricultural uh, output uh, than, uh, than necessarily in the United States. We, we've, kind of mad, we've kind of reached pretty high productivity levels. Um, other countries are, are now kind of on an increasing curve where they're catching up to us in terms of that, profit, uh, that, that sort of productivity. And that means more competition in terms of international markets.